Okay. Now we have uh, made assignment in uh, J1, M1 and then we will cross out all the zeros which comes in that particular column and row. Since there is no zeros in that row, we only land up crossing zeros in the first column. Then find out any row with one zero. So we have fourth row with one zero, this one. So we put a box against this. Since there is no more zeros in that particular column, we now check for any other row with one zero. There is no row with one zero, so we proceed with the column. So as I said, we will move from top down and left to right. So we have this second column which has got one zero. So we make the assignment here. We put the box here and once we put the box here, we land up crossing that particular zero. Right? Now find out, do you have any other row with one zero or any other column with one zero? You do not have. Now that means what? This particular concept of examining the rows and columns is over. Right? Now, what you have to ensure at the end of this particular step is all the zeros in your matrix. I repeat, all the zeros in your matrix should be either covered with a box or should be covered with a cross. There should not be any zero unattended in this particular matrix. Otherwise, your problem goes to a toss. Now, the next step is we call it as marking the rows and the columns. Now, this is what we have got it in the, from the previous step. Correct? Now, what you have to do is we call this as marking of rows and columns, which we also call it as a ticking business. I repeat, we call it as a ticking business. Now, what you have to do is out of all these four rows, find out a row where assignment is not made. That means find a row which do not contain box. The significance of box is assignment as I already said, right? So that is why the step says find out a row where assignment is not made. Which is that row? The third row. See here. The third row do not have any box. Third row do not have any other assignment. So you tick that particular row. Now this ticking is done on the right hand side after the row. See here. Now this is what it is. The ticking is done on the right hand side. I repeat why there is a tick here because third row do not have any assignment. Now once the row is ticked, find out in that particular row if you have any crossed zeros. Now this is a row. You have a crossed zero here in this particular column. So you tick this particular column like this. So the row with the crossed zero you tick here. Now in the ticked column, I repeat in the ticked column find out if there is any assignment made. This is the assignment made. So you tick this particular row here. Got it? Now I repeat once you have this ticked column in this ticked column, you check whether you have an assignment made and if the assignment is made, you tick that particular row. Now keep on repeating this process unless no more ticking is possible. Now in the row, find out if there is any zero which is crossed. You do not have any zero which is crossed and hence the ticking business is over. Then the next step is you have to draw the minimum number of lines. Means what? you have to draw the minimum number of lines in this particular matrix which will connect, which will touch all zeros of your matrix. No zeros should be untouched, right? Now, it is not that you draw lines however you want it. There is a specific methodology to draw the lines which we call it as minimum number of lines crossing all zeros. Minimum number of lines crossing all zeros. For that what you have to do is, this is what you have already with you, right? Now, find out a row where ticking is not done. Find a row where ticking is not done. So what we say, draw lines through all unmarked rows. Repeat, draw lines through all unmarked rows. The second row and fourth row do not have any tick 
So the second row and the fourth row are called as unmarked rows and we draw a line. Watch out carefully. The second row and the fourth row do not have any tick. So we draw one line. Right? So once we draw line through unmarked rows, then you have to draw line through marked columns. Marked column means how many columns are ticked? Only one column. That is the first column. So you draw line there also. Correct? So what you have done is you have drawn lines through all unmarked rows and the marked columns. The total number of lines that you have drawn is 3. Am I right? The total number of lines you have drawn is 3. That means the minimum number of lines which will cross, which will touch all zeros of this matrix is 3. You can have a look at it. All zeros of your matrix is touched by some or the other red color line. Now watch out. Since the minimum number of lines crossing all zeros is 3, which is not equal to the order of the matrix. What is the order of the matrix? 4. Since the minimum number of lines is not equal to the order of the matrix, the solution obtained is not an optimal solution. Please understand. Or we can also say the number of assignments in this particular matrix is how many? 1, 2, 3. Understand? 1, 2, 3. Since the number of assignments is less than the order of the matrix, the solution is not optimal. And hence what happens? We have to proceed for optimality. We have to proceed for optimality. You remember we did something called as delta j greater or equal to 0. Similarly, we have to proceed for optimality even in assignment problem. And you know that we call it as iterate towards optimality. So what you have to do is with this uh, in this step called as iterate towards optimality is in the latest obtained matrix, you need to find out the minimum value in this particular matrix where line is not passing. Please understand. What I am saying is, you have to find out the minimum element in this matrix where line is not passing. Now watch out. Line is not passing means red lines. Now the elements where line is not passing, 2, 2, 1. 3, 2, 3. That's all. These are the 6 elements where line is not passing. Out of 6 elements, you pick up the minimum element. Now in this case, the minimum element is 1. So this minimum element is called as theta and we say theta equal to 1. Right? So I repeat once again, the minimum element is picked up from the matrix from all elements of the matrix where line is not passing. So theta is equal to 1. Now what you have to do with this theta is, be very careful now. What you have to do with this theta is, you have to add this theta to all elements which lies at the intersection of two lines. You have to add this theta which lies to the elements which lies at the intersection of two lines. Now watch out. This is an intersection, right? This is the intersection. You have a vertical line, you have an horizontal line. And the element here is 3. So you add theta to this. So 3 plus 1 becomes 4. Understand? So this becomes 4 in the next matrix. Then this is another element which lies at the intersection of two lines. Vertical line and horizontal line. So you have 7. So 7 becomes 8. Watch out carefully. 7 becomes 8. See here. 4 and 8. 4 and 8. Then, after adding theta equal to 1 to all elements where which lies at the intersection of two lines, next is subtract this theta from all elements where line is not passing. Subtract theta from all elements where line is not passing. See here. Now this element, you do not have any red line. This, this. So subtract theta. That is, subtract 1 from here, 1 from here, 1 from here. 1 from here, 1 from here, 1 from here. So what happens? 2 minus 1 is 1. 
2 minus 1 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. So this will be 1, 1, 0. Check it out. 1, 1, 0. Similarly, you get this 2, 1, 2. 2, 1, 2. Right? So, I repeat, you add theta equal to 1 to all elements which lies at the intersection of two lines. You subtract theta equal to 1 from all elements where line is not passing and you don't touch the elements. You don't touch the other elements. Right? Don't touch this fellow, this fellow, this fellow, this fellow, this fellow, this guy and this guy. Correct? Now, this is what the matrix you get once you get the value of theta. And common sense, this particular matrix has got more zeros. Correct? How many zeros in this matrix? 6. Compared to the number of zeros in the previous matrix, which is only 5. That means we are proceeding correctly towards getting the optimal answer. Okay, now once we have this, we have to again continue with the same procedure. And what's the procedure? Find out a row which has got only one zero, right? Now which is that particular row? I can go to the third row as well as to the fourth row. So let us go from top to bottom. I go to the third row and I will mark box here. So I mark an assignment and once I mark this box, I will cross out all zeros which comes in that particular column. So I cross out this. And then I have one, one zero in the fourth row. I go to this and then I will cross out this. Then I will go to this particular box because I am going according to column wise. And then I will cross this particular zero. I have taken care of all the zeros. But again the number of assignments made is only three. One, two, three. And hence this is not an optimal solution. So I have to proceed towards optimality. Now what I do is. I check out a row with, with where assignment is not made. Which row assignment is not made? The first row. So I will do once again my ticking business. So mark the rows where assignment is not made. So I have the first row. Now in that particular first row, find out where you have crossed zeros. So you have zero here, you have crossed zero here. So I will tick the first column and the fourth column. Watch out carefully. I have taken the first column and the fourth column. Now, in the first column, I have an assignment here. So, I will tick that particular row. And in the fourth column, I have assignment here. So, I will tick this particular row. Watch out carefully. First column, I have assignment here. I will tick this row. And fourth column, I have assignment here. I will tick this row. Right? Now, in these two rows, which are latest ticked, I do not have any cross to zeros and hence my ticking procedure is over and then what I will do is I will go with finding the minimum number of lines which will cross all the zeros. I will find the minimum number of lines which will cross all zeros.